Hey friends, it's Judy Clark here at Stampin' with Crafty Clark right here in Middletown, Virginia. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm coming to you live with some great ideas for some quick and easy gift card holders. Now I know it's getting to be the holidays because once Labor Day hits, the year is basically over. <laughs> We're already sliding into Halloween is like in what, 10 days? Um, so I know it's going to go by so quick. So I know that if you're like me, sometimes I have nieces and nephews that they're kind of hard to buy for and they get to that like teen, mid-teen, late teen, early 20s age. So I like to give them gift cards because this way it's always the right size and the right color, as my dad would say. Um, so I guess they could always be a little bit bigger in the value, but pretty much gift cards always right, kind, right size, right color. They can pick out what they want. Anyway. It started last week with um, a tutorial in my VIP group for a pretty little gift card holder. Then on Tuesday, I did another gift card holder. I'm doing two more tonight. And if you are on my email list, hey Claudette, there is another gift card holder design coming to you in tomorrow's Crafty Chatter newsletter. So if you are not on my email list, right down below in the description will be a link. After this video post, there'll be a link to join my email list, make sure you join because every week I send out a free tutorial. And right now you're getting two because we're doing our 12 weeks of Christmas series. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now I always like to do a simple stamping card and one that's a little bit more stepped up. So today's simple stamping card is just going to be using this beautiful walk in the forest designer series paper. And we've got a little pocket right here for our gift card. So very simple. This is a great way to use your designer series paper. You get to see both sides of our beautiful paper. And if you didn't know, our walk in the forest designer series paper is um, our making a difference um, product this year. So for every package that they sell, Stampin' Up! will donate three, <laughs> excuse me, $3 to a charitable organization in each of the markets that are dedicated to like spreading cheer and um, just helping people around this time of year. So if it's in our catalog. You can look. It's on page, um, I don't even know what page. It's like right after the cover, page five. So this is it. It's the Making a Difference. It's the Walk in the, walk in the Forest, and they'll donate $3 to support organizations dedicated. Did my, did my iPod, my, did my AirPods just go out? If you're watching, let me know if you can still hear me because this might be a bad. Uh, okay, I think, I think my AirPods may have died. Hang on. Uh, let me do something here real quick. You guys hear me? Claudette, if you're still out there, can you let me know if you can hear me still? I seem to be having some technical difficulties. Let me see if I can get my other camera back. I tell you, it's never easy with technology, that's for sure. Um, great. Maria, thank you for letting me know that you can still hear me. All right. Let's go here. Um, let me just get that second camera back. All right, I think we're back. All right, here we go. We're back in action. So as I was saying, we're going to be working with this. Uh, I didn't join the video. Okay. Oh, boy. You know, I'm just having all sorts of technical. All right. Why won't that mic? Hang on. I think we're good. All right. Now I think we're going to get feedback. Let me do this. Okay. Good. Can everybody still hear me? Just give me a thumbs up or let me know because these technical difficulties are just really driving me crazy right now. All right. I'm going to go on the assumption that you can still hear me and we are ready to go with our first gift card holder, right? 
which is just our designer series paper. This is our simple stamping card. And then we're gonna get a little fancy and we're gonna step it up and we're gonna do a slider gift card. Oh gosh, I always forget to do this. There we go. A slider gift card holder and our little bear is going to move and there's the pocket that holds our gift card. So that will be our second card. And like I said, this is a little bit more advanced because we got to do some a little bit of fancy cutting on it, but that will be our second card. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, our first card is very easy. We're going to use stamps from the Christmas Classics and Brightest Glow to um, stamp with. So before we do that, let's go ahead and let's score. Let's score our designer series paper. Now, when you're working with designer series paper, don't press very hard because it's a little bit um, lighter weight than cardstock, so it will rip a little bit more easily. But we want to score it at five and a half. And you'll see I'm just kind of gently going back and forth at seven and a half. Okay, because I'm not really pressing fully down. And at nine and a half. And this piece of paper. This designer series paper was four and a quarter inches by 11 inches. So I just cut off an inch um, from that piece of designer series paper. Okay, so it's 12 by 12. So we just cut off an inch. So now we want to fold this fold here. The five and a half inch fold is going to become a valley fold. The seven and a half inch fold becomes a mountain fold. And that nine and a half inch fold becomes a valley fold. We got valley, mountain, valley. All right, so I'm going to just grab my bone folder and I'm just going to give these a nice crease. There we go. We'll do this one. Okay, now we want to take and we want to add just a little bit of liquid glue on these edges. And the reason I'm doing liquid glue and not tear and tape is because I want to make sure that I have room for that gift card to slide in. And tear and tape might take up just a little bit too much room. So a very thin line of your multi-purpose liquid glue is going to be just fine. We're just going to hold that there for a second because we don't need much. All right. All right. So I've got for the inside, I've got a piece of cherry cobbler that is three and three quarters by five. I'm sorry. This is for, let me just make sure. This is three and three quarters by five. I'm just really having a day today, folks. And then this is three and a half by four and three quarters. And then I punched a piece of basic white with our new hexagon punch. So I don't know if you've seen that, but that came out in time for World Card Making Day. And that is available online only right now. It's an early release from the uh, next mini catalog. So you can go ahead and order that if you want. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to stamp from our um, brightest glow. We're going to stamp Merry Christmas in our cherry cobbler. Now I have glue on my fingers. All right, I'm just going to stamp a Merry Christmas. All right, and then on our heartfelt hexagon, our little hexagon punch, from our Christmas classics, I am going to stamp Tis the Season. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is still from, I don't need this one yet. Let me get that out of there. This is still from our Brightest Glow, Tis the Season. And then from our Christmas classics, I'm going to stamp in Garden Green. I've pulled out the like the pine branch. And I'm only going to add glue kind of just to the tips. I don't, I'm not glue, listen to me, oh my gosh, ink. I'm going to add ink just to those tips because I don't really need it on the whole thing. So I'm only gonna stamp a little bit. Okay, and that will kind of pick up the pine branch on our designer series paper. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of that there. Okay, that is it for our stamping. Like I said, this is, a very simple card. It stamps ink and paper. That's all we've got. Um, so I think we are good to go. So let's go ahead and finish putting our card together. 
So I'm going to get my pad out of the way. All right, I'm going to add my basic white to my cherry cobbler. I was doing a really good job of keeping my desk organized. And now chaos reigns again. So I'll have to get down here maybe this weekend. I've just got, I'm getting ready for various craft fairs and I've got my monthly workshop tomorrow night. And I'm excited about that one. I'm, you're using the Night Divine and I think I have some pretty designs set up for tomorrow. So I'm excited to see what everybody thinks. Claudette's going to be there and Antoinette. So I'm excited to see what they think of the designs. Okay, so now we've got our inside. Now we're going to add Tis the Season. And I want to pop it up on dimensionals, but I'm only going to add the dimensionals to this because I want to make sure that when I put this down, I don't place it so that the dimensionals cover the pocket or impede that pocket from opening. So I'm going to put like one there, one there, and one there. Okay, and that will be to hold our little hexagon in place. Okay, we've got that. Now we can go ahead and add some of our festive pearls. And you can pick whatever color you want. We've got gold, silver. This is green. It looks more blue, but that's supposed to be green. And we've got the um, cherry cobbler. So I think maybe on this one, I will add some gold. Let's add some gold. I'm going to put them here. Maybe one, I don't know, right there. And that is our first gift card holder. And as you can see, we've left enough room to stick that in there. Now, when you want to mail it, you can either mail it like this. It will fit in our standard A2 envelope, or you can fold that under and mail it like that. It's up to you. Okay, but this is a standard A2 card. It's four and a quarter by five and a half, and we've got that little gift card pocket in there. So now we're good to go with that one. So what do you think? Do you like that idea? Now, moving along, let's work on our very cute gift card holder. So for this one, I've got a piece of balmy blue. This is a standard eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at four and a quarter. And before I cut that slit in it, I want to make sure that I put my... Um, designer series paper on. So I don't really know which way this is upside or right side, but we're gonna put it like that. So oh, I got some green on there. Gotta be careful at it. We're gonna use that for the inside. So let's add our designer series paper. This is four by five and a quarter. Okay, we're gonna add that on. Okay, now we are ready to cut our slit in it. So, I'm going to take my paper trimmer now. I have trouble seeing. So what I did was I added a piece of white cardstock here to make those numbers pop a little bit more easily when I'm cutting. So that's just my little trick. So I'm gonna put it here, I'm gonna put this far edge on the one inch line and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to come down to about a half an inch and I'm going to slice from a half an inch down to not quite five inches. Okay, so like maybe four and seven eighths. And that's going to be the slide that our bear is going to travel on. All right, now let's do our stamping and then we can finish our card. So I've got here, I punched out with our decorative circles, a balmy blue circle, and I have here a basic white circle, and we're going to stamp warm wishes in our balmy blue ink. Let me just stick this in here. Uh, where are you? We got our warm wishes. Okay, and my, balmy, my new balmy blue pad arrived today because... I don't know if you have been around, but I told you I went to re-ink it and I inked it with 
pool party mistakenly. So I totally destroyed that pad. So my new one finally came in. So we are back in business. And then we're going to stamp our polar bear on a piece of basic white. There you go. I'm doing white because I want him to be a polar bear, not like a brown bear or a grizzly bear. So I'm just going to stamp him in memento tuxedo black. because it's winter, so we should have a polar bear on there. What do you guys think? Polar bear? Yes, no? Now, this will also punch out some of the bears that are printed on the Berry Cute Designer Series paper. And now let's give him a little red scarf, because why not? Because we have the stamp. So let's go ahead and do it, because I think that would be cute. Try to figure out where to put all my open... Okay, this is the hardest part, is trying to keep it so you guys can see, and the glare doesn't get to me. It got to me a little bit. Okay, so now we've got a little scarf on him. If you want to get really fancy, you could go ahead and stamp the hat and fussy cut that, but I'm not that ambitious tonight. Okay, here we go. Now just make sure you line him up well. Okay, that looks good. Now we've got our little bear. All right. Now, I have here a piece of basic white. This is six inches by like three and seven eighths. The reason being, I want to make sure it's narrow enough to slide easily in and out. Because what I'm going to do is in a minute, not yet. Well, I can put the tear and tape here, but we're not gonna we're not gonna take off the cover yet. So I want to put a piece of tear and tape on the right side and along the bottom edge. That's going to hold our slider card closed. Okay, and I will have all of these measurements on my blog post tomorrow and I'll put the link in the description. So don't worry about trying to write down measurements right now that will all be on the blog post. Um, so now let's go ahead. I want to score this at about, it's about six inches. I want to score it at about three and a half inches. So I am just going to take my paper trimmer. My other paper trimmer is so old that the scoring blade fell out. I'm going to take this. I want to put this at about three and a half inches. I'm going to go this way. Maybe three and three quarter inches. All right, we're going to score it. Actually, I can go either up to four inches. All right. Okay, there we go. So now we've got that. So now let's make our little pocket for our gift card. Now with this one, the gift card has to go in the long ways because this piece is a little bit narrow. But again, because we are dealing with a narrow um like opening, I want to go ahead and use our liquid glue again to hold this closed. Maybe, there it goes. Okay, I don't want a big blop. I just want a thin line. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and add this. Now, while that is drying, so, see what I said? The gift card is going to go in this way as opposed to this way. All right. Where is my hole punch that I just had? I see it. All right. So I want to punch a hole right up here. Okay. If you're watching live, let me know where you're watching from. And if you're watching on a replay, go ahead and tell me where you're watching from. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here sort of close to the top, because that's going to tell me where I have to put that, um, and I might have made this too short, where I have to put the piece for our polar bear. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this here, okay? So we are going to stick this all the way down here. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. Actually, I'm gonna add some stamp and seal. I don't want to do the glue. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of stamp and seal. 
And we're going to put this all the way on the very end. Okay, then we're going to take it and slide it through our slit. And that is going to become the mechanism that our bear will slide on. Okay, so now that we have that in place, now we can go ahead and take off the covering on our tear and tape. So this is the very last thing you want to do. Make sure that piece of white is all the way up by the fold, right? Because we want to make sure that we don't get it stuck in the adhesive on the tear and tape. Okay, and then we can come over. That's up there where it should be. Okay, and just press that down. Now, we want to go ahead. We want to add our bear. Get this out for a little bit. See what I'm talking about? You have to make sure that it doesn't get stuck. Oh my goodness. Why is that sticking? There it goes. There it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to take my bear. I'm going to put this down like that. And I'm going to put a little dimensional right on his neck, kind of like right underneath where his scarf is, right there. And then we're going to attach him to our slider. Okay, and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to trim the rest of that. Okay, so now that's trimmed off. Now we've got our bear. He's gonna go and move. All right, we're gonna add our warm wishes. We're gonna add that basic white circle to our balmy blue decorative circle. And this was a two inch circle punch and our decorative circle punch. That's how I did that. Let's add some dimensionals to the back of here and add that to the front of our card. Right. That one I put in the bad spot. There we go. Okay. I'm going to add this right up here. Now I've got our blue ribbon. Isn't that pretty? It's got like sparkles in it. So we're going to feed that through and this will become the pull tab for our card. All right, let's trim that up. All right, now we're going to tie it. We have our Simply Elegant trim here. I'm going to take a bit of the silver because I think the silver goes well with those sparkles in that blue ribbon and we're going to just tie it on okay just knot that up all right then you can just trim it however short you want it and then you've got another gift card holder so that will sneak right in there and there you go there is your slider gift card holder thank you Joan I'm glad you liked it so that is our two gift card holders for tonight and that is all of the gift card holders that we're doing um, this week right we've got the ones that we did tonight. We've got the ones that I did on Tuesday. And on Sunday, I made the one from last week. Um, my registration is open for my November workshop. Hey, Maureen, how are you doing from Australia? Wow. So glad you're here. So if you um like gift card holders, my November workshop is now open. We're doing eight gift card holders. We're doing two each of four designs. So you will be all set for the holiday season. But I want to thank everyone. So nice. <laughs> Sorry, Claudette. Thank you so very much for being here. It's so nice to spend time with you. I love having you here. I love doing this. I love crafting. It just makes me happy. And I want to share that joy with others. So I hope that you get a little happy when you watch these videos and learn some new things and are inspired to try these on your own. Like I said, if you're not on my email list, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. You can sign up for my email link. 
I always give out free tutorials every week along with tips and tricks and information on my upcoming workshops and where I'm going to be. So any questions at all, just uh, leave me a comment and I will uh, get back to you all. Happy stamping, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great weekend. I'll be back on Tuesday for a lesson at lunch. Bye, everyone.